Last year, an unusual student passed China's national medical licensing exam, a robot. It was developed by Beijing's Tsinghua University. Researchers acknowledge the robot still has a way to go before it qualifies as a full-blown doctor, but it's been a big help in treatment and diagnosis. Also in the capital at PLA General Hospital, you're looking at four robotic arms performing surgery. Our robots are usually fully booked. On average, I now have two to three robotic surgeries every day. Surgeon Liu Rong, who pioneered the robotic technology at the hospital, performs non-invasive surgery on malignant liver, pancreatic and gallbladder disease. The robots don't do anything on own, but are an extension of a surgeon's arms, hands and feet. The robot offers a high-definition 3D visualization that allows me to see fine anatomic detail during the procedure. And because robots are able to make smaller, more precise incisions resulting in less blood loss, patients are able to recover faster. Robots have also made their way into dental offices. This one in Xi'an completed a one-hour operation while doctors monitored on the sidelines. Researchers said it operated more accurately than experienced dentists. Concerns do surround this technology. First, the price tag. This system at PLA Hospital costs $2 million, which may not be a feasible option for all hospitals. And some question whether technology equates quality. But robots have been an asset to doctors on the job amid the backdrop of China's doctor shortage. It's part of a booming industry in artificial intelligence, buffeted by Internet giants Alibaba and Tencent. The International Data Corporation predicts China's market for AI healthcare services will reach $930 million in 2022, which has us wondering what barriers bots will break next. Francis Coe, CGTN.